We're seeing more and more four or five star recruits want to take a look at what the HBCU programs have to offer. And guess what? This young man has decided he wants to take him a look-see for himself before it comes time for him to make that final decision. Guys, we're going to go ahead and get into it right about now. It's your favorite coach back at it again. Ten toes down. About to tell you how it all went down. This is Tomorrow League Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get all upcoming videos. For all my leaders out there, welcome back. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the routine. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and share. And also, tap in a friend or two and tell them to come on in. It's never positive vibes. We just having a good time talking about HBCU sports. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this thing. But first, don't forget, you can follow us on social media. All social media platforms listed down below in the description. And also, we got a show up over on Spotify. So check that out as well. And guys, don't forget about we have the scholarship that we're putting out there that the end date is coming near July 16th, 2022. We're going to shut it off, guys. So make sure you get your 500 word essay in. I'm going to show you what's required from you for you to become eligible to possibly win this scholarship. You take advantage of this. I'm going to do coach. going to go ahead and get into this thing because I know y'all like coach. What you got going on? But first, Coach is starting to get a little piece of the merch in right now. I hope y'all like the bucket hats. You got the khaki here. I got a blue. I got a uh, I got a black one. And I think I got a kind of like a, a ivory or off-white one as well. So, you know, Coach trying to get some things together here for you guys so we can go ahead and put it out there to you as well. You know, of course, you know, I always rep the, rep the hoodies, so we got those as well. I got a couple of folks on my neck right now. It's like, hey, Coach, you playing games with me on my hoodies, man. What's going on? I got the hoodies. They're coming. You know, these folks is running a little behind with trying to get this stuff in from all these different places. So coaches running a little behind on a lot of different things. But we're coming with this stuff. Right now, we have several spring games that's going to take place this weekend. And many of, the many of the juniors are going to be at these games checking out what's going on because they want to see what these HBCUs have to offer. Because you already know they've gone to the Power 5 schools. They've given them all the ambiance. They gave them all the, you know, the dog and pony show and showed them all this glitch and glamour and stuff. And, you know, they're like, okay, cool. Let's 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 see what let's see what these HBCUs got to offer over here. Because you already know, once you come to an HBCU party, you know the HBCU party don't stop. You're going to keep on partying on and on and on and have you a good time so you can come back home and tell everybody just how it all went down. So, guys, you know what? <clears throat> This young man here is going to check out exactly what's happening this weekend, and I'm hoping they show him a great time because you already know them spring games going to have some folks out there on the sidelines, you know, getting, getting a good look-see. Hold on, let me, let me turn it up a little bit. You know, trying to get a good look-see to see what's going on because they want to know what do these HBCUs have to offer. Well, I'm going to tell you this right now. That FAMU spring game has a player from the state of Georgia that's coming down here to check out exactly what's going on because he wants to see for himself what's the real deal. And guess what? You already know once he gets in there, see the attendance, see all of the all of the Rattler fans all over the stadium, they're going to be sitting like, oh, this might be the place for me. But you know what? One thing, I'm tell you this, I'm going to sit back, I'm going to watch this spring game myself because I want to see just how this quarterback play is going to go on because you already know Coach Willie Simmons got several quarterbacks that are there on the roster currently, and he brought in a few that he recruited. So you already know the quarterback battle is going to be serious. The ones that we got to take a look at is none other than Rashawn McKay, who was the starter last season. Cameron Sack, Corey Jordan, Junior Muratari, Terry Musa, who's the transfer from Vanderbilt, I believe. Yeah, he's the transfer in from Vanderbilt. Lee John Howard. And like I said, I want to see who's going to be head and shoulders above all of the other quarterbacks going into the summer camp as QB1. Praise the pages. What have you done for me lately? Yeah, you did what you did last season, but now it's time to climb on back in the saddle, baby, and see what you got going on this season. Can you come back and take the reins again and lead the team on to victory? They hope to get out here and win the SWAT championship this upcoming season. Who's going to be that guy? That's what I want to wait and see. Who's going to be that QB1 that's going to stand tall in the spring game and let everybody know, hey, listen, I'm planting my flag in, I'm planting my flag in the ground, and guess what? I'm letting y'all know I plan on being around for a little while. Coach Willie Simmons got out there and recruited some other players to come into the program as well that's not playing at the quarterback position. You know, players like crushing defensive end Ray Cutts, linebacker Eric Horn, offensive lineman Darian Whedon, you know, just to name a few of those players that's coming into the program that was recruited into the program, excuse me, recruited into the program to come in and add that extra punch to let these folks know, hey, listen, 
the Rattlers going to strike every time we get out here on the field. If you step up and you move wrong, we're going to strike again. And guess what? We're going to keep striking until you want to get out the way and let us do what we got to do. This young man is coming to Tallahassee to check out what's going on. He a big deal as well right here in the state of Georgia. None other than Cameron Davis, four-star recruit, rising junior. Two-sport athlete, plays baseball and football. Now, he's listed on 247sports.com as a running back, four-star recruit. He's 5'10", 190 pounds, and he played at Doherty High School in Albany, Georgia. And guess what? They have him listed as a running back, but this young man plays quarterback. Yes. Guys, let me tell you what this young man did out there on the field. But first, let me, let me run this down to you like this. This young man has been putting on such a show out there on that football field. He has schools looking at him from all over the place. He got a couple of Power 5 schools in here that want to recruit him to become a part of their program. And you know, it's none other than Florida State, Alabama, University of Georgia, Notre Dame, Maryland, Miami of Ohio, Ole Miss, Tennessee, and Western Kentucky. Just to name a few. Remember, he's a rising junior. He ain't. He ain't seen the letters come in yet. And this young man get ready to get a whole slew of them bad boys. Not to mention, you got Coach Willie Simmons wanting to come on into the program as well. So you already know Coach Willie Simmons see value in this young man. But I'm going to tell you this. Like I said before, by the time he gets to that senior year, man, he's going to have to sit down and make some serious decisions as far as which direction is best for him. One thing I will say is this. This young man here is, this young man is head and shoulders above a lot of players that you've seen currently on college teams. This young man is for real. And I'm, I'm just being honest with you. I, hey, I'm not, this ain't no blow up right here. This, this is real deal. This young man, let me tell you something. Davis as a sophomore, he ran the ball 127 times for 1,363 yards, averaging 10.7 yards per carry. And his average per game was 113.6 yards. Not to mention, I forgot about the touchdowns that he had. He had 16 rushing touchdowns as well. But you know what? With him in the pocket throwing the ball, this young man threw the ball 176 times, completing 107 for 1,787 yards, 13 touchdowns, and three interceptions. Now, come on, man. Is this young man a walking touchdown or what? I mean, walk, throw, however you want it to be, this young man can get, this young man can get out there and get after it. And that's what he's about. He's about that business. But remember, this young man got two years left of high school. This young man going to be something serious when it comes time for him to get ready to make that final decision. I keep saying, I'm going to keep saying that, guys, until I'm blue in the face. This young man is that real deal that's coming out of Georgia, letting y'all know, hey, listen, you better scoop me up now. And Coach Willie Simmons having him on campus, oh, that's a beautiful thing. And I'm willing to bet once he sees how everything is broken how down, the uh, Florida a and Rattlers go about their business when it comes to uh, getting game prepared and how they go through all of the different things before the game and so on and so forth, the meetings and all of that, if he's there before uh, the spring game happens this weekend, man, listen, I think this young man might be so. Now, don't get me wrong now, because I know there's going to be some Florida State folks in here that's going to be a little pissed off. To Wait one second, sir. He is currently committed to Florida State. That's correct. He is co he is committed to Florida State. Don't get, don't get it twisted. He is committed to Florida State. But you know what? Still got two years left to make that decision. And I'm willing to bet you by the time he make that decision, hmm, we will see. That's all I'm saying. This young man run the ball. He's definitely an elusive runner that has a burst of speed with that extra gear. That catch me if you can gear. That's what he has. He shifts that thing in fifth, and he's out of there. I mean, this young this young man is definitely one you got to keep your eyes on because he is really, really beginning to grow into the position, be a quarterback or running back. Running back comes to him naturally. Watching him play quarterback, you can see that he's been definitely working on his game, polishing up some things that he wants to do to make himself a lot more uh, effective in the pocket when it comes to throwing passes down the field to his receiver. I'm going to keep saying this. This young man is an athlete. He's a flat-out looking at his, Looking at this young man's future, oh, it's very bright. The one thing that I recommend is this. I know he has two years left Two years left to play high school football. Remember, make sure you take down good notes when it comes to different coaches and recruiters that you talk to, as well as make sure you have those notes readily available when it comes time that you have to make that final decision on where it is you're going to take college to play collegiate football or collegiate baseball, whichever one it is you choose to do, or if you choose to do both, which one is going to be a best, which one is going to be the best fit for you. And I'm glad to see that this young man decided, hey, I want to go ahead, check out what's going on over here at FAMU. I want to see the spring game. I want to see what they have to offer. I want to see what the campus is like, so on and so forth. Young man, get out there, enjoy yourself. Have your great time, because I'm sure you will. I'm knowing that the Rattler family is going to show you just what it's like to be there 
in the fold with fans as well as, as well as becoming a part of that Rattler family. And lastly, remember one thing, sir. I want you to make sure you stay in them books. Them books is everything, all right? And I'm sure you had, from what I saw, you got a great GPA. So keep doing your work, keep moving forward, keep polishing your game, and just enjoy yourself and have fun doing what you love to do, which is playing the sports that you're playing. But until next time, guys, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get all upcoming videos. And remember, be the one and lead.